Hi camp family. We're back in my kitchen today, not because we're cooking, um, but because we're making pumpkin play clay. And it only takes three simple kitchen ingredients. So first we've got pumpkin puree, a whole 15 ounce can, or if you uh, are making your own pumpkin puree, 15 ounces. Um, corn starch, two to three cups of corn starch, depending on how thick you need this to be. And then some pumpkin pie spice to give it a nice scent for the holidays. So I've already got my pumpkin puree in here. Um, again, one 15 ounce can. And then I've got my two tablespoons of pumpkin pie spice that I'm gonna mix in. And once that's mixed in, I'll start adding in my cornstarch. And the cornstarch, um, again, two to three cups. So depending on how juicy or thick your pumpkin puree is, you may need more or less. Uh, and if you get to a point where it seems like, well, it's too liquidy, you can add more cornstarch. If it seems like it's too thick, you can add some water. So I'm gonna start slowly adding this in. Of course, you can mix um, with a spoon or with your hands, depending on how messy you wanna get. I figure I already dirtied my tablespoon, so I'll keep going with that until it's a little bit more combined. As you can see, it's coming together really well. Now again, this is pumpkin puree not pumpkin pie filling. So if you had a pumpkin that you wanted to um, cook that maybe you used to make a jack-o-lantern and you wanted to use the body for something other than just composting it, you could bake it and turn it into puree or blend it and turn it into puree. So as you can see, it's getting pretty thick, but not quite there yet. Not, not a Play-Doh type consistency yet. Oof. Again, messy. So doing it in the kitchen is good because there are always kitchen messes to clean up. Ooh, it's getting pretty thick. It's pretty hard to mix it with my spoon, so. I'm gonna have to switch to using my hands. Which of course is a big part of the fun. It smells great. <laughs> I wish that you guys could smell it. I wish we had smell vision so you guys could get a good whiff of it. It feels like clay, like nice, moist, moldable clay. Okay. So once you have a nice dough consistency, you can take it out of your bowl. As you can see, it's really starting to form a good mush here. Yeah, once you have a nice dough consistency, you can take it out of the bowl and play with it on your table. Again, if you feel like it's not firm enough, you can add more cornstarch. If you feel like it's too firm or crumbly, then you can add some water. I'm trying to get Kind of a pumpkin look because that's what I thought would be fun from this. Or maybe a jack-o-lantern. I'll do a jack-o-lantern. <laughs> it's fun for all ages, guys. <laughs> oh, cool. You can kind of see that on the screen. Here, I'll get closer. as you can see it holds up pretty well um, again pumpkin plain clay we hope you guys really enjoy this um, simple little sensory craft and we'll see you guys next time bye